Earlier on this week, Vogue Williams announced she was expecting her second child, a baby girl, with husband Spencer Matthews. This comes, of course, nearly two years after the birth of their son, Theo. And Vogue joins me now from her home in London. Congratulations, love. That's great news. Thank you. We're so delighted. I'll bet you are. It's great. So, look, when's, yeah. when's the big day? When's baby due? Uh, baby's due towards the end of July, and it's a girl as well, which is even more exciting because we did think it was a boy for, for about a week because we made the woman who does your scan, we were like, you do this every day, just tell us what you think it is. And she was convinced it was a boy, and then it turned out it was a girl. So Aww. I was delighted, yeah. No, it's really good. And did you want to know, because, you know, I mean, these days, of course, you can tell, um, you know, these yeah. wonderful women that do scans, but you, you wanted to know what you were going to have. We uh, do a test at 10 weeks because we're so impatient. You can do a blood test and they can tell you then. So we did that at 10 weeks. Ah, so then you know, and then you can plan. Yeah. Then you can plan things, which I is know, really good. I know, I've already got so many outfits. It's, it's kind of getting out of control, but I knew that would happen with a girl. There's just so many cute girl clothes. So I'm actually going to spend this weekend going through her wardrobe and she's not going to be here for a while. But anyway, what else will I be doing? Exactly, exactly. Because you have to be careful, of course, when you're yeah. pregnant. You have to be careful and be sensible. But despite what's going on and despite coronavirus and all of that, you were saying that you feel almost more relaxed this time round. Yeah, I guess it's because I have Theodore running around. So someone, someone the other day said, send me a picture of your bump. And I thought, I don't even have one. Whereas last time I had a, an update almost every day. And this time it's kind of nicer because I'm not obsessing over being pregnant. And it's nice to just spend loads of time with Theodore and he's constantly needing attention. So it doesn't give me that much time to think about being pregnant. Because I wouldn't say it's my favourite thing in the world. <laughs> I find it quite hard. <laughs> well, it's not, it's not easy. No, you're right. You're absolutely right. It's no. And of course, you, you have to kind of change your lifestyle right now as well you know spending a lot more time at home i guess yeah i suppose so but i think that everyone should be kind of spending a, a lot more time at home i think keeping a good distance from people and just until everything blows over i mean it's not ideal for anyone and just if you can find stuff to do at home and kind of keep away from the elderly and people that might be at risk sure. i think it's super important to just do that now no, it's all about being sensible, love, isn't it? It's about being sensible, yeah. being risk you know, risk aware and all of that. Um, now, what about little Theo? How do you think he's going to react to a new baby? Will he just think it's a sort of a little toy that he can play with? Well, I mean, he he does love little babies because my friends have had some recently and he does go over. But then, I mean, he loves Winston sometimes and then the odd time he'll give Winnie a dig. So I think that we're going to have to keep a little eye on him. But I think he's going to be really excited. I don't imagine he's going to be jealous. And he kind of, like, lifts up my top and says, Baba. And I thought that, oh, maybe he understands. But then Hugo was over this weekend and he started lifting up Hugo's top and saying Baba. So I'm not quite sure he gets it yet. That's really... I don't know how he's going to react to that. <laughs> oh, kids are brilliant. Kids are absolutely yeah. brilliant, aren't they? Now, look, we know that when we got to know you very, very well, you know, both you and Spencer, through the reality show that you did, is that something that you think you might do again? I know you had two very successful series. How, how are you feeling about that? Uh, we love doing it because, I mean, we love working together and... It seems like it's really invasive, but it's not. We had a great team behind us. But I think um, we're certainly not going to be doing anything now. I've even had other TV shows cancelled and postponed. There's not much going on. So for the time being, um, it's probably not going to happen. But you never know. We might do a third one. But with everything going on, I don't think... Um, anyone's going to be doing very much. No, indeed. I mean, we're soldiering on and we're obviously going to be doing the show whilst everybody is still, cross fingers, still still well. You know, we, we definitely will be here, but we're all going to have to change our lives. And I know you're doing that. I'm doing that. But we're all, we're all just having to be sensible. That's exactly it. And I think, like, your show, I was just listening to you laughing about everything you were talking about earlier, all the TV shows. It's nice to have a bit of positivity in your house. So keep going for as long as you can because we really need us. Oh, thank you, my love. And good luck. Good luck thank with you. everything. Good luck with the baby. And I can't wait to meet her. I got, have you got uh, names yet? You, I, don't, no, I know you don't want to tell us the name because that's a big secret. So but I'm so go. glad at keeping secrets as well. You know, I loved a name when it got vetoed. So then I vetoed one of Spenny's name. And we've actually come to one that we love, our parents love. And um, that's the one for now. But you never know. We're going to wait until she's born this time. I think that's a good idea because sometimes you can get, they, they just arrive and they, they look like the name that you chose sometimes. So it's good. I can't wait yeah. to meet her. You take care of yourself. 
Lovely you to too. talk to you, darling. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.